What's up guys, Sarah Matthews here. So if you spent any time processing astrophotography images, then you are well aware of noise and how utterly annoying it is. Um, and so I know that there are a ton of different methods we try to use um, to combat it, whether that's on the acquisition end of things or the processing end of things, but it is usually a very cumbersome and iterative process and it's never totally foolproof. Um, but yeah, uh, I did come across a new tool called Noise Exterminator um, by RC Astro and um, it is really awesome. It is also made by the same developer as Star Exterminator, which um, if you haven't already tried Star Exterminator to remove stars in your images um, using PixInsight or Photoshop, I highly, highly recommend it. So the um, Noise Exterminator tool is currently only for PixInsight, but they are developing a Photoshop plugin, which I'm not sure when it will be released, but I'm hoping that it will be pretty soon here. So yeah, I did try out the noise exterminator tool on some of my astro photos and I was really impressed and wanted to sh show you guys and um, let you guys know that, um, yeah, it's available. Um, so in today's video, what we're going to do, um, we're going to install the noise exterminator tool into PixInsight as well as um, go over how to use the noise exterminator tool on a linear astro photo as well as a uh, non-linear astro photo. So without further ado, let's get started. So installation wise, you're going to want to start here on the noise exterminator homepage at rc-astro.com forward slash resources forward slash noise exterminator. I have put a link to the website in the description box below. Now noise exterminator does use a universal licensing scheme for both the PixInsight and Photoshop plugins. So you'll need to purchase a permanent license for whichever one you use to process your images. There is also a free 30 day trial license you can get as well if you just want to try it out first. But make sure the tool is compatible with your system first. It does work on Mac OS, Windows and Linux operating systems um, as you can see here. Um, so back to licensing, currently as of May 2020, uh, the price is $59.95 uh, US, uh, US dollars for the PixInsight license, but it is also the same price for the Photoshop plugin. Just make sure that if you are going to do the PixInsight uh, license, you click to the right here. Um, yeah, see it's $59.95, but it is also, um, you can also purchase it for $39.95 if you've purchased a um, RC Astro product in the past. So like if you've purchased Star Exterminator, you just need to put your email address in here and your permanent license key, and then you'll get Noise Exterminator for $39.95. Um, so yeah, so once you've completed the, um, the steps in the purchasing of the license or the free trial, you're going to receive an email with the credentials that you're gonna to need to install it into PixInsight. So let's head over into PixInsight now. So I do already have uh, Noise Exterminator installed, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. Um, so installing it into PixInsight, I'm going to first make sure that I have a version on my computer that is at least version 1.8.8 or older, um, which as you can see, I do. I'm running 1.8.9. Um, awesome. So then I'm going to add the RC Astro Noise Exterminator repo URL to my list of PixInsight repos by going to the top of the page here um, under Resources, uh, Updates, Manage Repositories. You'll then add in um, the RC Astro Noise Exterminator repo URL um, into the text box here. Just press Add. Um, I, of course, already have that, but you should not. Um, so just add the link in here. Um, I have included the link in the description box below here um, to make it easier. So once you've done that, click OK and then OK again. Now go back to resources and then go to updates. Check for updates. There will be two separate updates related to Noise Exterminator. One being for the Noise Exterminator module itself and one for the AI Neural Network file. You want to make sure those are both checked with the green checkbox. Um, again, I already have this installed, so you're not going to see that. Then click Apply to download. Um, so now once the downloading is complete, click OK and then quit PixInsight to launch the update system. This is just like any other PixInsight update, so when it prompted to install the updates, just click Yes. Um, once that's done, PixInsight's going to restart. You should find Noise Exterminator un under Processes and then Noise Reduction. So we're going to restart PixInsight and we're going to see if it's there. Yours it should be, so under Noise Reduction, there it is, Noise Exterminator, perfect. The first thing you're going to want to do is add in your license credentials. Um, so you're going to enter your email address in here. 
And then you're going to provide the license key in that email uh, that RC Astro sent here. And then you're going to press continue. And then you should be good to go there. And then after that, you're going to go be over here to select the AI. Um, you're going to select the AI um, that is noise exterminator one ml model. Press open, perfect. And then you should be good to go. All right, so now we're gonna move on to using it on a linear image. Now, as I mentioned earlier, noise exterminator can be used on both linear and non-linear images. I'm gonna start with my linear image example first, which is a monochrome S2 image of the Rosette Nebula. And what I have found with this target um, in S2 is that it gets noisy rather quickly as you post-process it. So I'm hoping that the noise exterminator will eliminate that issue or at least help. Um, so according to RC Astro, the most optimal time to use noise, noise exterminator in your processing workflow is as early as possible, but you can use it at any point for both linear and non-linear images. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, open up the process. I'm going to go to process up here, go down to noise reduction, and then find noise exterminator. And then here I have the default settings of 0.90 under denoise and for detail, um, 0.15. Since this is a linear image, I'm going to make sure I check that box. Um, we should be good to go there. Let's just take a, a peek at just how noisy it is first. So yeah, as you can see, it is <laughs> really noisy um, all throughout. Um, they're just, yeah, the signal's obviously not going to be as good as HA, but yeah. All right, so Let's apply, so just press the button and let Pix inside do its thing. The nice thing I do like about uh, Noise Exterminator is that it does go pretty fast, so that's always awesome. So yeah, it did a really great job. Um, yeah, let's go down over here. So what I love about Noise Exterminator is that it still keeps all of the nebula structure intact. Um, just removes the noise really, really well, um, and the the stars themselves look really good still. Um, yeah, and so you see still a lot of the contrast of the color, um, which is awesome, and the fine dust is still there, and against the background, which is excellent. Yeah. Really great. So what, I, so what I would recommend is that depending on your image, um, just play around with the denoise and detail uh, settings um, to find like the most optimal uh, parameters for you. But even with the default settings, these look really good. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. So let's go over to an image I took with the Canon EOS RAW and it is in a non-linear or stretched form. So here I have an image um, of the Horsehead and Flame Nebulae that I took with the Canon EOS RAW. It is a uh, mirrorless camera. Um, I took this when I first started astrophotography, so um, I do have a few dust motes here and a few hot pixels, but nevertheless, we have uh, persevered. Um, so as you can see, there is just like a ton of detail um, or a ton of noise all throughout this image, um, both in the nebulae structures down here but, or, and also just in the, um, the black areas as well. So I'm very excited to see how, um, noise exterminator is going to be on this image. Um, and so I'm just going to play around with the, uh, parameters here. And, um, because this is a stretched image or a nonlinear image, I'm going to make sure that linear, um, box is unchecked. So I'm going to reduce the denoise just a bit. Um, so when you're reducing it, you're just de reducing the strength. So I'm going to go down to 0.77 and then I'm going to, I don't know, increase the detail like by 0.5, go up to 0.20. Let's just apply that and see how it goes. All right, now we're back. Wow. Yeah. So this looks really great. Even just going down here, I mean, looking at the horse head. So this is after, this is before. Wow, this is after. 
before. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite amusing. Um, and so you can still see a lot of the data, a lot of the structure here. And again, this is only like, I think like an hour and a half of data. Um, so I probably would curtail my parameters based on how much data that I do have. Um, yeah, so it does, it does really, does really well on just about every aspect of the image. So uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. So yeah, um, I am really impressed with Noise Exterminator and I hope you are too. Um, if you have any questions or using the Noise Exterminator, I'd love to hear how it's going on your images um, down in the comments below. Um, if you would like to see a Photoshop version of this, please let me know down in the comments too. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until then, I will see you soon.